Record numbers at Orlando International. A lot of people traveling to Central Florida this holiday weekend. Some might be hoping to visit our beaches. This is a live look, in fact, at Daytona Beach. Lifeguards along the coast getting ready for the 4th of July crowds and keeping them safe from that dangerous rip current out there. Volusia Beach Safety is already waving the red flag, warning beachgoers, but expect to make dozens, if not hundreds of rescues because of how strong the currents are right now. News 6's Molly Reed is in Daytona Beach with a look at the weekend ahead. Volusia's lifeguards are already waving the red flag ahead of this holiday weekend. The feeling is you're getting, you're trying to swim to shore and you're not going anywhere. Uh, and a lot of times you don't even realize you're in that rip current until you try to swim back to shore. Beach safety says be prepared. The rip currents are coming in more frequently and are much stronger this year after the hurricanes caused severe erosion in the fall. That uh, put a lot of holes in our sandbar. Uh, when you have the hole in the sandbar, that creates the rip currents. It creates that, that break in that sandbar. So we, we are experiencing more rip currents uh, or hazardous conditions. Beach Safety Deputy Chief Tammy Malfer says they will have over 60 lifeguard towers set up for the holiday weekend. Even the strongest swimmers get uh, caught in rip currents. So it's extremely important to be in front of that staff lifeguard tower. They can see you in that rip current before you even realize you're in it. On top of beach safety, fully staffing up with lifeguards this weekend. The sheriff here says that they too will be fully staffing up with deputies on the beach, both during the day and at night, looking for people breaking the law, like launching fireworks at the beach. Only thing I want you to leave on the beach is your footprints. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you, if you're out here shooting off fireworks, there's a good chance you're going to get confiscated, you're going to get ticketed or arrested for doing it. Sheriff Mike Chitwood says despite a statewide law allowing fireworks, many cities in Volusia have ordinances against them, and the beach is an absolute no-go. He says there will also be undercover deputies patrolling the beach this weekend looking for alcohol and thieves. You get up, you go take a walk, you go into the into the ocean. When you come back, your bag is missing, your cell phone's missing, your wallet's missing. So we're out in plain clothes looking for that. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.